Hello, it's Sparky Peter in Liverpool in the International Electrical Centre, which also doubles as my mum's garage. And in this clip, I've got a visual inspection exercise to take you through. Now, the idea is that I show you where the, the defect is, and your task is to, uh, first of all, identify the defect, and secondly, to give me a reg number to back up what you're saying. So, first of all, we're looking at that. That's probably the most dangerous thing on that board, isn't it? Secondly, underneath the breakers. And thirdly, the periodic inspection notice. If I also tell you that um, the circuits that come off that uh, consumer unit uh, are installed in the building fabric less than 50 mil uh, in, in, the, in the plaster, and also the, um, that there's a, uh, a socket outlet circuit coming off that board, that gives you another uh, defect. With the consumer unit cover removed, now if I tell you that um, those two sets of cables are 1.5 and that the um, one on the left hand side is a lighting circuit and the one on the right hand side is a ring main, that gives us two further defects. If I show you that, there's two further defects. There's also something else, but we've kind of already identified that from the, the, the first little section. Here's another one. In this scenario, those cables are buried in plaster. If we look in that socket outlet, there's another defect. If you look in the switch, there's another one for you. If I tell you that the supplier's pipe work is, uh, comes in on the left hand side and that the consumer's pipe work is on the right hand side, there's two further defects for you. Oh, did you get them? So the first thing was on the consumer that the blanks are missing. I pointed that one out straight away. If we encountered that on a periodic, we'd take action about that straight away. Because that's a shock risk, isn't it? Um, also, uh, you'll have noted that the, the board's not marked up. And you'll have noted also that the periodic inspection label uh, hasn't been uh, completed. Also, I told you that uh, we had cables less than 50 mil in the building fabric. And we also had a socket outlet circuit. And so just looking at the front of the board and the fact that we're lacking an RCD or RCBO, that gives us a further defect. So there's four there. The lack of the, the blanks missing, the board not marked up, the uh, periodic inspection test notice and a lack of RCD, RCBO. Here, well, we've all already identified that um, the cables aren't RCD protect because um, one little thing, these cables are buried in plaster at a depth of 20 mil. So but we've, we've had that one already. Um, here, the um, connections are not in an enclosure. That's a requirement of the regs. And also, as such, if they're buried in plaster, they wouldn't be available for inspection, testing, maintenance, etc. So there's two there. That one is that singles cables, in other words, cables without a, a sheath, um, need to be in some kind of uh, protection conduit, trunking, etc. And clearly, they're not there. I pushed off the dust so you could see that one. So you can see the reverse polarity in the uh, in the socket outlet. Some of you might have said the lack of a fly F to the back, but what uh, we've been saying for a long time now is as long as we've got one fixed lug on the box, there's no need to uh, earth bond the back of the box. Now, I'd be surprised if that still causes any controversy because we've been saying that for a long time. And here, if the supplier's pipe work is on the left-hand side and the consumer's is on the right, well, firstly, the well, that'll be the gas, wouldn't it, down here? Firstly, the gas is bonded on the wrong side. So uh, we're, we're supposed to bond um, within 600 mil of the pipe work coming to the property um, on the consumer's side before any branch. And we can see there, wrong side. Also, this 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 with the water, wouldn't it? That's bonded on the, the correct side, but the uh, label, the uh, safety electrical connection label is missing off that one. So there we are. I hope you've enjoyed that exercise and I hope you got all the defects. Uh, any feedback, as ever, much appreciated because you know what's coming. Um, nobody knows everything and there's always more to say.